I met a young 19 year old boy who one of the first things he said to me was I want to become a young dad. You know, his dad had him young and he said I want the relationship with my children that I've got with my dad. Right, beautiful. And meeting someone at 19 who tells you he wants to have kids with you really soon yeah, is just that's like, like ching whoa. jackpot. You guys are really different than yeah. a lot. Like Cause yeah. my sister is 25 yeah. and she's like, I feel like yeah. sometimes I'm like, how do you survive out there on your yeah. own? Yeah. So he's obviously like, He's yeah. obviously very mature too. Well, he's he was born. He's sorry. His parents had him young as well, so he grew up around adults his whole life. Right. So he didn't get another sibling, I think, till he was nearly ten or okay, was, right. you know around then. So a lot of the time it was just him. So he he grew up really quickly. And he also um, you met on your twentieth birthday. Is we that met right? the yeah a few days before. Yep. And right. Then and the you were out the of big clubs. bang happened on the twentieth birthday. You did. <laughs> And so talk me through that. How yeah, it so it was funny because I'd just broken up with an ex-boyfriend literally like not even two weeks before. Right. And um, my girlfriend at the time was seeing this guy and she said, oh, we're going around for drinks at his house on Tuesday night or something, you know, when you didn't have full-time work no, and you just went to uni. Nice that. So good. And she said, come with me. And I was like, no, no, like I'm so heartbroken. I need to just stay at home. And she's yeah. like, shut up, come. And I was like, all right, I'll go. And um, anyway, I got there and it was this house full of guys, this whole house full of guys. It ended up being that we'd gone to, a, it was Tuesday, but we'd gone to a mad, an AFL Mad Monday party. Oh my God. So we were the four, you know, whore baggers that have turned oh up. Oh God, you were a full footy mom. Yeah, footy whore bag. And, yeah. um, but I, on, and I swear, Hannah of Heart, I didn't know, you know. And I walked At least in. you don't say, I didn't know about football before. Oh yeah, because you grew up with football. Yeah. Every time I see a girlfriend, I didn't know going, anything I, about footy. It, yeah. I think bullshit. Because I, if yeah. you, especially if you grow up in yeah. Melbourne or where yeah. AFL is big, you know about footy. Yeah, you but know. The thing, you know, in my corner is that, and I say this to Jared, he doesn't take offence to it. I went in and I do know footy, so I knew quite a few of the oh, players there. Yeah. But I didn't go for any of them. I actually saw Jared, who I had no idea who he was. He was this young rookie. Right. You know, he was gorgeous. He was actually dancing in the corner, backwards hat on, no top on to Biggie Smalls. Oh my God. And I went for him. So I'm like, if I wanted the footy player, I would have been going for that one over there because I know exactly who time, that is. Right? Yeah, but I, I didn't know he that. Didn't I thought know. he could have been a friend of someone's or, yeah. Right. Yeah. So we just oh hit it God, off. Oh my God, I can't believe you. I would be like a yeah. bit scared to crash a mad bun day. Well, when I walked in, I thought, I won't say who it was, but I just, you know, I'm seeing all these senior players and I'm going, where are we? Like, what's no. going on? And then, yeah, obviously a room full of, of footy players and four girls walk in. They just go, oh, yeah, totally. Pounce. Yes. Yeah. I yep. would have loved that. I was a footy <laughs> mole, but I never, like, I always had a boyfriend. Yeah. And so, so we couldn't, nah, couldn't but I get was, in there. I would have been if I could have been. <laughs> yeah. Like, seriously. Oh, so we'd God. go out and I'd be like, oh, there's footy players. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, it's so it? common though. It's so common. But and then, then you'd like, see other girls and you go, oh my God, like you're legit. Like there's yeah. full blown girls that would hunt down AFL players. Yes, yeah. but around that time too, because I'd broken up with the ex-boyfriend and our friendship group that we were in sort of split in half and, you know, the other half were going, oh, you're, you're just a footy slut. You're doing blah, blah. And I tell them, I'm like, if I was going to be a footy whore, I would have gone for that one, that one, or that one. But no, yeah. I went for the young topless guy in the corner because, yeah, yeah. you know, that's, that's just yeah, what I liked. Did you have, was it, I guess because growing up with your dad, you know, there is a real stigma around AFL players. Yes. Growing up with your dad, I, get, I guess you got to see a different yeah. side. Yeah. Was there any part about you that was worried I was about? Say something. So then my sister saw a different side of a few of them. Did yeah. she? <laughs> I think oh, she'll I'm kill doing me. the coach's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Um, did you, were you, was there a part of you that was nervous about getting in a relationship with a player? No, because, you know, like we were talking about before about the girls go, I didn't know anything about football. I had a genuine interest in football. So to go out with a guy who played football was, was good for me because right. I, I really had an understanding of the game, of their schedules, because my dad had always worked in yeah. there. So it was nothing new to me, you know, and it, it wasn't like, oh, flashy, I'm going out with football. I'd, I'd grown up around footy clubs my whole life. So footballers mm. weren't, you know, on pedestals for me. They were just normal people. But I do know, you know, the stigma that comes with it and, and yeah. all of that. Um, but, you know, I just, I got really lucky. I've seen some, I've seen some terrible ones over my time with girlfriends that have dated boys and um, probably still are dating boys that they, they shouldn't be. But yeah, um, yeah. I just got really lucky with Jared. He's just a genuine person.